Okay, working on partial derivatives. This one involves an exponential function. So as we get going on this, let's first take the partial derivative with respect to x. You may notice that we have a function within a function, right? That exponent is not a nice, simple, plain old x. It's something more complicated. So what we're going to have to use on this is we're going to use the chain rule. So first, we take the derivative of e to a power, would be e to that same power. But then we want to multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. And this is the partial derivative with respect to x. So we treat that x as though it's our only variable. And if it doesn't have an x, it's a constant. So the x, its derivative is going to be 1. And then the derivative of 6y, well, 6y, we're treating that as a constant in this case. So its derivative would be 0. So we could say plus 0 at the end, or we could just leave it like this. And in fact, to clean up our answer a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. All right, this may differ a little bit as we look at the partial derivative with respect to y. Now it's the same idea that we do have a function within a function, so we're going to take a derivative of e to whatever power, and we're going to leave the exponent alone. But then what we want to do is take the derivative of the exponent with respect to y. So this first term, the x, because there's not a y there, we're treating x as though it's a constant. Its derivative is going to be 0. And then moving on to the next one, we have plus 6 times y. Well, the derivative there, because we do have a y, its derivative is going to be 6, because that's linear. All right. So be careful as you're going through these. Um, take your time and focus on exactly which one we're treating as the variable um, when you're doing partial derivatives. Good luck.